Hey everyone, this is a no BS guide to running DeepSeek R1 locally in your computer. Let's get started. First of all, what is DeepSeek? It's a Chinese company that is right now being very hyped and being famous because of launching their DeepSeek R1 model, which is a thinking model on a fraction of the cost that OpenAI took to train their model, which has caused the market crash for GPUs and Nvidia. And a lot of investors are basically right now scared or yeah, they're basically concerned because if DeepSeek can work with lesser amount of money, then what's the point of investing, for example, $500 billion in the Stargate project by OpenAI. And for the same reason, when you look at the benchmarks of DeepSeek R1, which is a mixture of experts, you can see that it basically outperforms all of the previous models that we have. For example, Claude, we have 4O, we have O1 Mini. So whether it comes to languages, coding or math problems, it really does well, especially when we talk about the DeepSeek R1. We are talking about the 671 billion parameters, the biggest model that they have, because they also have other versions as well that we are going to have a look. But I don't want to go too much into the technical details because I want this video to be for non-programmers as well. But just so you know how you would run the biggest version of R1 in your machine, it could look something like this, that you have a bunch of Mac minis which are optimized for AI. That means that they have a good CPU, GPU, good GPU and also they are using a software that distributes the model or the processing of it using something called Ray Surf. Now you may not want to run the biggest version of R1 but you can still run the distilled versions which won't be as powerful but will still do the job and you can run them locally for free. Now first of all when we talk about DeepSeek you can actually run this on DeepSeek.com so you can go click start now and then there you have the chat. When you're running this on their platform, that means that you are using their CPUs, their GPUs and their processing power, which means you would have to pay. So you would have to top up this one. And then you can ask any question. If you want to run this with thinking model, which is DeepSeek R1, then you click this and then you ask your question. Similarly, when you want to do search, you need to click this one. And that means that when you ask a question, it's going to go to the internet and find the solutions for you or find relevant things and then we'll construct the answer. Now for this model, I'm asking a question that Ahmed has 200 apples, he ate all but nine and gave away four. How much apples does he have now? So we're going to look at the thinking process that DeepSeek R1 has. For example, here you can actually see what it's thinking. And this is a problem with ChatGPT because it says it's thinking, but it doesn't show you what it's thinking. And it's really easy to see it right here, what the thinking process is. So you can see that it analyzes. So I'm not going to read all of this, but when you try the same command here, you are going to see how it thought all of that. And here you can see the steps. So it says Ahmad had 200 apples and after eating all but nine, he has nine apples left. Okay. And then after giving away four, now he has five apples. So that is the fascinating thinking process that everybody is basically talking about. Now to run this locally in your machine, what you would require is this software, which is LM Studio. This is not built by me, so I, I'm not really forcing you to download this software. But essentially, this is a free software. And if you want to use this for personal use, you can use it, but you can't use it for business. So if you scroll all the way down, you would be able to find this that if you want to enable it for work, then you can request from them. But this is intended for personal use only. Another good part about this LM Studio is that they have created it for privacy concerns. So the model R1 will be running locally on your machine and none of the data would go out. So every conversation that you would have with the DeepSeek R1 will stay in your machine so you don't have to be concerned about privacy in here. Now to run this model, you can go to the top and you can download the right version for your operating system. I'm using a Windows PC, so I'm just going to click this. And once you have downloaded it, you can run the installer and you can install it in your machine. So I'm just going to quickly install it. It takes about 1.3 gigabytes of space on your disk. So make sure to install it in the right partition. I'm just going to install it in my C drive. And now we can wait a bit until it installs. Right now that this is installed, I'm just going to click finish and this will run the LM Studio for me. And here we are. Once this opens, you can press Control plus or command plus if you're on a Mac to zoom in a bit because that's what I'm going to do to make it easier for you to read. And now you can see the studio right here. You can actually try to type a message and send to a model, but we don't have DeepSeek installed yet. So what you can do here is that you can click here, select a model to load and you can see that 
by default it says to download llama 3.1 but that's not what we want to use we want to use the deepseek r1 so you go back to the lm studio site and here you can go to model catalog once you go here you can see all the models that you can use within lm studio so if you see the second one this is the deepseek r1 distill for coin 7 billion parameters which means that there are 7 billion tokens that it can work with when we talk about a distilled version that means that it's not the biggest r1 model it is a subset of it you can say in a non-technical term or you can say that it's like a teacher student so if r1 is the teacher then this quen 7 billion parameters has been taught by deepseek r1 on how to think how to reason and how to give the answers so it's like it's a sort of minimalistic version of it that you can run on your machine without having to have a big gpu or cpu so we have a bunch of options to pick from we do have the quen version from deepseek r1 we do have the llama which is 8 billion parameters and if you go down you want to use something for coding then we also had a version of deepseek coder which is right here which is deepseek coder v2 lite and this has 15.7 billion parameters if you remember about deepseek the biggest parameter that it has is 671 billion parameters that's too much we can't run it we're gonna go for the mixture of experts version which is a general version of r1 instead of the coding version so this is the one that we are going to pick the 7 billion parameters with quen so if you click it you will be able to also see that this would take about 4.6 gigabytes or 4.7 gigabytes of your disk so make sure to have that before you actually download it and you can also see that this is available on hugging face as well which is amazing because developers use it a lot but i'm not going to go too much into it and you can also see that the author of this particular model is deep seek itself now if you scroll down you can see here that it says use in lm studio so just click this and now it's going to show you this button so you can click open LM Studio and here you can see the prompt download from Hugging Face and I can just download it just like this. Now we're just going to give it some time so it can download the whole model and we'll proceed from there. All right, so you can see that it says finalizing download. This may take a few moments and now you can see that the download has been completed. So what we can do now is to click this load model and that would load this model for us. And there we go. Now what I'm going to also do is just close this and close this as well and now you can see that this is loading right here now the lm studio has a bunch of options for you to work with for example you could select different ui versions for example if you are a really simple user you can just click user so you don't have the additional inputs here you can click power user which is what i would use or you can use developer for even more logs etc now once you have this loaded you can also go here to my models and see that in the LLMs you should be able to see this downloaded and if you wanted to delete it you can just do it from here which will free up the disk space but let's go to the chat now here you can see that it is giving us some options so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the same question here you can see that the input token right now here is 30 this is what this prompt takes and I can either insert this into the chat so to say without triggering the prediction or uh, to have an answer or I can basically click send so use the insert when you want to give multiple messages and then you can hit send but since I have already done that I can just click this or press ctrl r and this is now going to r1 locally and you can see that this is running for free I can actually disconnect the network and run it still so this will be running locally all of my data is still here and now you can actually run the r1 here now if you look at here you can see that the final answer is still is the same five apples so even if we are not really using the biggest r1 model we are using a distilled version of it still the accuracy of this is the same I'm not really talking about math questions or coding here I'm talking about basic questions so to say or a bit tricky questions because obviously the 671 billion parameters r1 is going to be much much better than this one which is just 7 billion parameters and one more thing that i want to share here is that how much of the context has been used so far so all of the large language models have a context window which means that they have a specific amount of storage or memory that they can have if you keep asking the large language model questions the context window will start to fill up quite a lot and once it's 100% full then if you ask it something more it's going to either remove something from the memory or would just say no I can't work anymore and then you can start a new chat from here and then continue from there so beware of the context window when you're working with large language models and that's pretty much it if you wanted to use more models you can just click here try to download more models or just go to the website and do it there or you can also go into discover and download the models from here as well it's up to you but I think you got what you need so far in this particular video so with that said I'm gonna end this video I hope 
hope this was helpful for you. So if you are someone who doesn't have a coding background, I think you can do this pretty easily. And if you are someone with the coding background, wait for my next video because there I'm going to tell how you can create a server locally from DeepSeek R1 and how you can use your front end or some code that you can actually use to make API calls to this model. So stay tuned and make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you don't want to miss more videos. With that said, happy coding. I'm going to see you in the next video.